Good evening. What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday start to the week. It's a beautiful day for some video games. Beautiful night for some video games if you're on the West Coast like myself. Um, really tired. Wasn't really planning on streaming. I w well, I had said I would, and then I was like, eh. Phew! Excuse me. And I was just like, eh. But now I'm like, oh, I should. The lecture series is important. We need to... We need to do the thing. We need to... We need to be out there snapping necks and cash checks, as they say. Let me just make sure really quick that I have everything where it should be. It's one of those days. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Okay, what was I doing? I was totally doing something. What was I doing, chat? This is the hard... This is, this is annoying. Alright, let's, well, at least let's get this up. That we can do, right? Get the avatars up and running. And boom, boom, there we go. <sighs> oh gosh, please excuse the yawn. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, I remember now I was double checking to make sure that it is titled correctly. It is, okay, we should be golden. Hello everyone, welcome to the Professor's channel. I am the Professor, my name is Claire Fitzpatrick. I am an actual professor at St. Mary's College in California. Uh, I teach a little class known as There's Always a Lighthouse, The Case for Literary Merit in Video Games. Uh, in the class, we discuss what is literature, how do we define it, and what components of storytelling uh, define what literature is for us. Uh, this is It's obviously a very subjective interpretation. Everybody has their own idea. And I would venture to say that uh, so far I haven't had a student that's been wrong yet. I've been teaching the class since 2016, and one of the video games that I teach as part of this class is Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, since the class is, uh, is uh, very intensive, it's a six-week study, uh, we don't get as much time as I would like to be able to cover uh, the games. I mean, you could do a, an entire class on Red Dead 2 on its own, and I only get two days to cover it. So I've decided, as part of... Uh, uh, my stream set up, I would devote a series called the lecture series in which I take the games that I teach in my class and I would do uh, walkthroughs of them and we would just discuss it this way. And I think that that makes it pretty fun because I finally get the time and ability to talk about these games at length. You get, you get the opportunity to join me in this discussion and we can just have a good old back and forth about uh, video games that we really love, that have great stories, and that are deserving of uh, this prestigious honor of literary merit. So without further ado, let's, let's dive right in. When last we left off with uh, Arthur Morgan, we got off the mountain and made it to Horseshoe Overlook. Uh, we've done a couple of missions. We've entered the town of Valentine with some of the members of the gang. We've ingratiated ourselves with the simple folk there. And by ingratiated, I mean gotten ourselves into a pinch of trouble, uh, the standard. And now we are uh, back at camp. We have some other missions that we need to accomplish. Uh, we've uh, beaten the tar out of that O'Driscoll kid that we found, Kieran. Uh, and he did lead us to an O'Driscoll camp, uh, but unfortunately the leader of the O'Driscolls, Colm O'Driscoll, was not there. Uh, but because this boy, Kieran, did take us there, we've determined that he is loyal, and he is now a part of our gang, much to Arthur's chagrin. Uh, so now that we are, 
uh, back at camp and sort of settling in here among the among the folk in this area. Uh, we're gonna see what uh, what other kinds of trouble we can get into, which I'm always very excited about. Oh, so if you're here for the first time, uh, I'm doing a high honor run just because it's who I am as a person. And if you have played this game before, please, uh, no spoilers. I have some friends who are uh, watching the streams or will be catching the VODs to uh, who have never played the game before. And I want to make sure that they get as fresh an experience as, um, and pure an experience as possible. I know me personally, if I had the chance to play Red Dead 2 for the first time again, it would be... Uh, a wonderful thing. I'd really give anything to be able to do that. Uh, so, spoiler free, please. And other than that, let's have fun. I'm really interested to hear what you think about the game. Uh, feel free to, to pipe up if uh, you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Um, if you have your own interpretation of of one of these characters that maybe defers from mine or is the same, I, I'd love to hear it. This is, this is my favorite uh, thing to do. Uh, just have conversations about about awesome games with awesome stories that that really make us uh, think critically. Okay, I will stop talking now and I will get back into the action. I'm also absolutely loving this uh, uh, very wonderful like PC playthrough. It's just freaking gorgeous on PC. This is the first time I've gotten to play it on PC. All right, let's walk around the camp and see what folks are up to. Eavesdropping is always fun. Orchard. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Hmm? Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Honey business. Uh, okay. Like, was that it? <laughs> I also realized I need to put a winter coat on my horse. I do not have one. Let's see what this letter is all about. Hmm. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well... It's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, hmm. that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. Oh boy. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was not the way, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. Uh, I hate this loan business. It is unpleasant. It is beneath me. Check out my wardrobe. Yeah, I'm gonna run with this. I just need to change my damn clothes. No, I don't need a miracle tonic. I need my damn clothes. How do I open my chest? Why is this hard? Come on, Arthur. 
We can do it. Is this not my camp? No, it's my camp. Oh, today's a struggle. What's this? Field guide to the botanical kingdom. Okay. Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, 1870. So I imagine this is his mother. Oh, Beatrice. Maybe it's just not the right time of day. It ain't gonna let me do it. First bank robbery newspaper scrap. I can come back later, I suppose. Major T.J. Belford has been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what transpired last week. It was about 2 o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, came through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, the largest, a big, sullen young man, brandished a firearm and held it up to my face. Throw up your hands, the third one said, who appeared to be the boss. The other two repeated the order with an oath. And the leader said, My fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of that gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around the counter and grabbed some sacks, which contained $5,000 in gold. They demanded to know where the rest of the money was, and I pointed out three sacks containing silver, but it was too bulky for them. They retreated, and one warned against sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in my life, Mr. Belford told a reporter. The robbers are reported to have lingered in towns, and there are unproven claims that the men traveled to hovels and shanties and even a home for orphans and gave handfuls of the ill-gotten gains to the poor. Sounds very Robin Hoody to me. No wonder they kept it. It's a way to... So this is April 15th, 1887, so this is about 12 years ago. Uh... Suppose that for Arthur, this is something that he keeps himself to justify his uh, outlaw lifestyle. He's not an outlaw for the sake of himself. He is under the tutelage of Dutch and this idea, this idea of uh, rogue justice. Seems to suit him well enough. What is this? Oh, I suppose that's Mary Linton. Flower. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. I'm not going anywhere cold as of yet. Oh, he's just gonna. That's why he's making me go see Thomas Downs right now. Oh, this sucks. Come on, boy. All right. All right, don't get all worked up. Yeah. Oh, why did you? Why did you do that? Where's your where?
thing about this game is I'm so easily sidetracked just by the natural splendor. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. All right, I'm gonna go do a thing that I really don't wanna do. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... <gasps> Keep doing that. You won't find anything on this property. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. Oh, you're making me do it. You ain't such a do-gooder, oh. are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, 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 do I'm doing my best for you. Bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Well, Arthur can be a real sack of shit sometimes. Even now, I think that it's an interesting dynamic when you're playing as a character and you're not really a huge fan of what it is they're doing, the way they were choosing to behave. We already know Arthur's better than that. see we're gonna go see Eric Strauss and tell him we did it oh wait was I not at a horseshoe overlook well it's still set for there shit That was a silly moment. Please ignore me. I'm not always the brightest bulb in the box. I do my best. Hello, LeVar Burton.
Carmen. You know, you can't deny that Dutch is a man of culture, sitting here listening to opera. <laughs> can only be found not in desires but in the purity of its landscape we are not fools for fools cannot see their idiocy we are somehow worse than fools for we will ourselves to do things of such profound stupidity despite knowing that we will hate what we have built I'd never really taken the time to look at uh, Dutch's belongings or read his books. But there's no denying that Dutch is an educated man. He's what he considers himself an enlightened man. He's well read. He has a belief system he ascribes to. Molly's poem. Ah, uh, you know, she's Irish. That top part's in Irish, Where which I can't pronounce. Just hold your horses. I was a girl until your call commanded me to the, cross the sea. I've nothing left, I gave you all. My darling Liffy was so small, your land and love are vast and free. I was a girl until your call. You stood so strong and dark and tall. You stole the heartbeat out of me. I have nothing left. I gave you all. Your lips and chants, your eyes and thrall. Your, your empire is of ecstasy. I was a girl until your call. Your parasites and lackeys crawl, mocking a love they dare not see. I have nothing left. I gave you all. I sit in solitude and scrawl these wretched words and wait for thee. I was a girl until your call. I have nothing left. I gave you all. Poor Molly. Put that one back. She left it for him. Let's see if we can find Molly. Well, let's finish this mission and then we'll we'll go find Molly. Hey, Oxforth, you made it. How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. We just did the Thomas Downs missions where we beat up that poor sod who owed us money. I think you know the importance of that. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Oh, I hate that mission. I hate it a lot. Alright, so let's go find Molly. I'll be it a wee bit shaggy. I prefer a shaggy Arthur. I've always been team shaggy Arthur. Oh fucking In uncle. A fair maiden so lovely. Gently I her I did say she pulled up her garments so scared it would soar. I out with old Phoenix went pouring for all. Oh Jesus. I hadn't been boring 6 inches or more. Still all from my auger so freely did pour. Oh my lord. <laughs> Looked up and smiled, Hello. said, Bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. 
week. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. Awful. Well, now. <laughs> You're a disgusting man, Uncle. A right disgusting son of a bitch. All right, I need to get a, a winter coat. All right, well, let's remove some of these outfits. You look like General Ketchup. Who's General Ketchup? You mean this one or no? This one. That's my favorite outfit. Well, these are the ones that are... Okay, that's... Saved on my horse. We'll remove... We'll remove this. Oh no, we'll remove this one. Definitely don't need that. I don't really need this one either. Alright, let's go back to coats. What coats do I have? Take that one. Because it looks cool. Moose hunting jacket. Beaver hunting jacket. Legendary bear coat, wolf coat. And no coat. Okay. Let's, um... Hi, Arthur. I got beans for you. Hi. Mr. Morgan. Yeah, thanks you already. Wasn't that loud enough? Hi, Bill. Okay. Let's go save. That stupid Irish boy. Okay, boy. That puts us Irish folk in a bad, bad light. Uh, map.
Actually, we'll go do this one first. It's close. Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. <laughs> uh, now I, I gotta get out of here. I'm all right, Oxford. Don't much I'm like it around here no more. Right, hanging in there. Know. Keep Ups and downs. I go back to work next week. Um, okay, after having been boy. off for three and a half months for uh, my cancer treatments. So it's going to be weird to go back and kind of just start readapting yep. to what a normal life looks like. How are you doing? How was work? It's late for you. What do you do for work? I don't think we talked about that yet. Reverend! Come on. What's the hold up? Are you down there? Hello, mister. Are you? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I <laughs> took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I'm free. I am Ooh. free. You don't seem free, friend. You That's seem drunk. That's fancy. Damn, Reverend, we ain't finished. You ain't finished. So you, uh, finished. seen anything shady? Down his throat. Friend, I just All through the play. night. Is it now, normally pretty quiet with that friends. job? Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're <laughs> children of God. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair. Peaceful town. Sure. You want a game? Well, it sounds like nice, quiet work. Camp partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't that know. sounds like good, honest work. To you. Oxford. <sighs> How long you been doing that job? Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. You lost your mind. 
Man. <laughs> this is one of my favorite missions in the game. <laughs> you crazy? Idea of a drunken priest. Get your hands off him. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Oh no, I just have to run after him. This is annoying. <laughs> I'm trying. Got him. Then I moved and came to dispatcher. Now I'm back and we're dispatchy. That's the dispatchy, we'll say that. Oh. Really? I don't know if I trust him. Reverend, oh. <laughs> get off the damn tracks! Ah, <laughs> uh, this damn priest! Reverend, stop! I don't get paid enough for this. It does, it's 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 a bit of a doozy of a mission. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? <laughs> no, you don't. And what stay? Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Certainly close enough. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that. There was a goddamn <laughs> train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? Uh. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Reduce mobility at an incoming train. Hey, Mango! Welcome, welcome. We just saved the drunken reverend from getting hit by a train. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? I don't know, something about what he just said, have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan. It's so childlike. Like, this man clearly has issues with booze. And he's clearly aware that he's doing something wrong. It's like, everything about it is just, it's... It's so sad for me. Just also, like, 
uh, having been exposed to alcoholism from a young age. Uh, I don't know. That just something about that kind of hits different. Where's my hat? I think I lost it over in the fight. Uh, what are you mumbling about now? Guardian Angel turns out to be Arthur Flutie Morgan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, for the rest of us personally, that's not always a bad thing. This is, um, ladies and gentlemen, the earliest uh, documented Uber. Close the oh, there's my hat. Here, take Mr. Morgan for a second. <laughs> Balls on this thing. Wee you. That is a fine pair of cojones. Hey, Just flat it. out refuse to deal with that souped up priest. Uh, we're like, here, take this guy. <laughs> Are some balls. Yeah, that is a fine pair of horse balls. You shut up. Well, Mango, you've missed one mission that we did, which was we go beat up a man who owed us money. And that man was very sickly. Uh, and Arthur is kind of mad that he did it once he realized how sick this man was and that he would never be able to pay the gang back. So he yelled at Air Strauss, like the resident loan shark, saying, why'd you lend man money to this guy? He's sick and he'll never be able to pay it back. Reverend Swanson. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. <laughs> Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Real lucky indeed. I mean, it's kind of like a dramatized... Uh, 
interpretation of like, oh, the crazy alcoholic, but it all is also really sad. This is like a, you know, a man of God who just has zero self-control. You know, he's found himself rolling with a gang. God knows why. God knows what's happened in his life. Hey, Kate! Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Kate's channel. Where we're all... This is Kate's world and we're just living in it. Let's see some Marleys in the chat since Kate's here. The new and improved Marleys. Shay. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they Erica, welcome. Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? <laughs> Who brought this on himself? Here's open. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. <laughs> Yay! You okay, Lenny? They got Micah. Yeah. Hooray! Yes, <laughs> Take that kid Me into good. Town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. How's it going, Erica? Good to see you. Arthur's beard game making me feel some type of way. I tell ya! You know how to- Kate, don't you know how to do emotes? Just look at the little smiley face next to chat. He's chaotic asshole. <laughs> it's so true. It is so true. See a Marley, send a Marley. Uh, Oxforth, the- the- MK Fitz, who just entered the chat, that's my sister. Uh, Kate, meet Oxforth. He is our resident Norwegian, our oh, Viking, as it were. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side. There are more. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, Oxforth, she's worse. I you think I'm bad? Hoo hoo, Lord! You worry too much, kid. Just, just some. My sister's a beauty queen. Kid. You know how he is. I'm not yes, joking. She was a beauty queen. He was half we have found our very own day. Viking. Yes, we have. We ran into some fellas. You fit in well around new, here. Drink some more. I'm in the presence of Norwegian to greatness. <laughs> Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast too. Okay, actually, this is my favorite mission. Up there and there. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's Nothing great about me some. except my company. Ah. It was drank that You keep very this. good company. We'll just have a cup. Okay. Lenny, you dumbass. I should warn you. 
Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. I better hear everybody's well, best fight. impressions once we get to that part. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. If you say so, I'll You guys are my cup. I, I know what you meant, Oxford. I'm pretty sure these knuckleheads did too. Lenny! Oh, that kind of. Yeah. The way I wrote it could be interpretive too. Well, I mean, you could be, work for a great company as well, but I believe it's the company you keep. Let's go get drunk. You can't get by on looks. <laughs> Baby Kate, hold my motherfucking beer. <laughs> that is the truth. Someone take Baby Kate's beer. I can I can live with that. Yeah, someone get Kate out of here. Someone send Kate home. Beer for all the baby. <laughs> this is getting weird again, guys. This the, the chat's getting weird again. Who handed her a beer? <laughs> Kate, go home. <laughs> go home. You're baby Kate. <laughs> Bro, like Why I made you a baby, it just could No, that's just what we're calling you now. Yes, Kate, you're the baby. You are baby Kate. Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Micah seemed to know a lot goo, of people. Goo goo caca bitches. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> tell me. Oh, yeah, Kate, you got to tell <laughs> Oxforth all about Marley. I introduced her as my niece yesterday, and he got very confused. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> She vomited today. Oh, oh no. Miss Abby and stuff. Not those well, beauty pageants. She was Miss Teenage California. <laughs> That's great, Martin. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Uh oh. You know which way my friend went? Sorry, I don't know. Lenny! Lenny! I am sorry, Your Grace. Lenny, where are you? Camp. Found my friend. You know where we went? Don't ask me. Why are y'all such jerks? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? That power move. She doesn't eat enough, she vomits. She's kind of stupid. Yes, but she's sweet. What are you doing, kid? Hello? I'm ready to see some weird shit in this bar. I think we all are. Man, why ain't you up in there? That's me in every bar. No one loves me. Lenny? Lenny? Get away from me! Yeah. What slippery little right, shit ain't you? Come on. Come on. Lenny, where are you at? Lenny! 
Wait, can you just, like, wander? Like, can you... You can wait, Lenny. I sent you a funny video on TikTok of a boxer yawning. I think I know exactly which video you're talking about. Nope. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Sorry, this isn't OnlyFans, y'all. I didn't know that. Anything else in the other rooms? Oh. You're the kid alone, you goddamn animals. Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Only Demption. Yeah. You just woke up my entire neighborhood. <laughs> I have that effect on people, Oxford. That's quite a stream you got there, Arthur. <laughs> we met in a stream, Kate. He's a streamer as well. I just stumbled into his stream one night and we became friends. He's part of a very friendly community himself. This was literally me on Saturday. Oh, Lenny! where are you hiding now? Oh, God, everyone's Lenny. Lenny! Cyber friends? A babbling brook? Lenny! You bastard! Here. <laughs> Damn it, Lenny, stop slumping off on me. Huh? Nanny <laughs> Barefoot stream hangs in the woods. <laughs> Kate, I, I promise you he is not a serial killer. Yes, he does have a beard. I wish I was that cool. <laughs> Lenny? You little? Lernick Lily 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 I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Oh, sir Clyde. That perfectly <laughs> bartender. <laughs> been looking all over for you, Lenny. Lenny, what are you talking about? Where's Lenny? Arthur, what are you doing? <laughs> In the dark. <laughs> He likes long walks on the Viking burial grounds. That is true. <laughs> I almost live on them. That is true. That is true. Oxforth lives basically on a Viking burial ground.
pursuit of happiness. You'll never take me sober. Arthur. You alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What do we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Yeah. You pair degenerates. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. <laughs> so, that was a quiet drink. First one was pretty quiet. That was a perfect representation yeah, of my personality. At least it took your mind off the goddamn. Mind. Why did you well, put a gif true. of a licking person? Of I'm just gonna have a little sit down. Also, why does that suggest that myself? you're like toxic? That suggests you're toxic, Oxforth. I'm not sure that's what you want. This is the face of a man who hates everyone and everything. Or that my humor stinks. Stop it. Come on, get up, bastard. Uh, earn yourself a reputation. All right, let's get some. Down here, got a lot of eyes on you. Make no mistake. Which one is? Oh yeah. Mango's a pony, a flaming pony. Kate is a uh, Kate is ghost. I mean that makes sense. She ghosts a lot of people. Um, Erica likes plants. That also works. Um, I'm Charmander because I'm hot. Um, and her name is Herb. Yeah. <laughs> Venusaur, my man! We're gonna eat some corn beef. Will you move? I said you were because you were a pretty horsey, a flaming horsey. I'm hot because I'm fly. You ain't because you not. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. I could sell a meal saying nothing on the track. I represent New York. I got it on my back. Expletives say we lost it, but I'm going to get it back. I remember 2007. All right, where's my hat? I have to go into the store and equip it. Where's the damn store? That's app. Yeah. Xbox gamer tag. Like 2006, and I use Urban Herbs. Got everything you need. Have a look. Some of the fellers who play poker down at Flatneck Station said they had some clergymen in. Oh! Okay, that makes a lot more sense, Erica. It's a nice way to equip it. Oh, and Kate's gone. See? She ghosted. <laughs> oh, let's well, have a look. Always here if you want to take another look. Thanks for your assistance. 
Okay. Let's go see Hosea. At least I think it's... Eh, we'll do Mary Linton later. We'll go see Hosea. We'll get Hosea eventually. Micah, he can rot for an extended period of time. Alright, we'll go see Hosea. You also have initials. What are your initials? Shark? My initials are ECF. Hey, you there. Can I have a wart? You want to have a wart? The Driscolls. What do you fuckers want? Now this little crow don't look like one of ours. Does he bite? Well, if this one ain't been riding with Kieran Duffy. This is a no good bastard. Make him pay. All right, die. Oh. 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 Move up with them. Oh, of course, I don't have my gun. <laughs> I should just turn myself in. Son of a bitch. Ah! Okay, I'm turning myself in. Oh, I guess that's not how you turn yourself in. Well, you know what that means. Don't waste a dime. So many don't waste a dime. Don't waste a dime. So many don't waste a dime. Rootin' tootin', there's some shootin'. God damn it. Welcome back. Something slip your mind before? Well, I'll get a chance to pet him eventually. Must pet the pupper. Well, let's go pay off my bounty first before I get myself into any more scrapes. Oops, sorry, piggy. I'm sorry, piggy! Alright. Wait here, horsey poo. I'll be right over.
What can I do for you? So that train got robbed up in the Grizzlies? Had Mr. Cornwall's car on it, apparently. Okay, page. Well, I'm glad you're doing the right good thing. Good morning, mister. You have a good one. The pupper. I want to pet the pupper, but I can't see the pupper. All right, boy. Morning, All right. Do you? Let's get to Emerald Ranch and see what our boy Jose is up to. I am moving, you bright bastard. Motherfucker's dead. <laughs> Shot the damn hat off. You're dirty. You're a dirty boy. Still a dirty boy. What's a dog's favorite piece? Uh, let's get you looking nice. Oxforth. see myself out into a shallow there is not enough the shallow enough grave for you sir uh, it must be late for you oxford or early depending on how you look at it since it was like 7 a.m when you left us the other night and lie down and wall up in my failure. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It just wasn't great either. Later. Oh, man. What time do you get off work, dude? How is Norway doing with all the COVID stuff? Are you, it's, it sounds like you guys aren't in lockdown anymore. Move on, stranger, unless you want me to leave your guts for the wolves. You're mean. Strand, this what you want? Hey, no. should be nice. Yeah. Oh, what? What did you want? Uh-oh. Why did the horse walk into the... Oh. Fine. 
rather easy compared to a lot of Europe. Yeah, lucky you. Oh, dinner served. Cooked horse. You were all defensive. You must have had something good. Soaring high every day now. Yeah, you mean you don't have any terrible people in your country that are saying the vaccine's a scam and they won't get it because of my rights? Like we, like our hospital rates and shit are going up because people refuse to get the vaccine, and it's like, God, it just makes zero sense to me. Go see Jose. This will probably be my last mission for the evening. I'm gonna go clean up before uh, my other uh, evening, uh, another stream I'm planning on watching. Basically, just a yeah, that's true. You're much smaller. Did you ever have COVID? Or did you manage to get uh, sneak away? unscathed. Just that dumb and few. <laughs> yeah, 330 million people will make it a little different. Lucky you! Me too, at least for now, knock on wood. I got vaccinated too, as soon as I could. But now they're saying we might uh, be able to get a third poke. Uh, people who are immunocompromised so because I got my shots while I was on chemo um, I might need to get a third third dose we'll see Is what it is. Yeah, it sucks, but I'm one of the lucky ones, and that's the way I try to look at it, you know? Uh, it was stage three, but they took out, uh, they took out my uterus and ovaries and uh, cervix, everything that had the cancer in it. And then I went through chemo, and, you know, now I'm doing good. Or I'm healthy now. That's the important thing. Like I'm, I'm able to say that I'll be okay. There are lots of people that that don't get that chance. I was really lucky. And obviously, uh, the Sheamus, price of a few months of hell is no worth it thing. to Respect know that you get to partner, live. If he likes this. liking, ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. I did kick exactly. cancer's ass. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves I'm a to this survivor. clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. <laughs> Good luck with your business dealings. Mm. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why? Professor Bat. You don't trust idiots. <laughs> exactly. When I'm just happy my hair is growing back. That's the important you. thing for me. That was the hardest okay. part because I tell you what. It's one I, thing to be sick, but it's another thing when you look a sick. Beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Old and enough for <laughs> that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Now he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. <laughs> yes, By marriage. Right. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> By marriage. Yeah. 
really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> yeah, we did well with that. Esteemed Mr. PZ, I see you in here, my brother. How are you? Yeah. Doggy! Good doggy. Who's a good boy, boy? Who's a good boy, boy? Look at him wagging his little tail. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We'll go. We'll go. It's mining, crafting, and that thar Minecraft. I see how it is, sir. I see how it is. that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but. You know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. That was a, a cute pupper. Defense wagons and coaches. That's it ain't much, us. but it's honest living. Amen to that, brother. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Called Good, me again. <laughs> Doesn't he know history? I figured more folks would have cut <laughs> oh, to have a ball and chain. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that. Especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Hmm. This is why I don't have his bone chain. Me either. Well, yes. Hopefully someday I'll find a person. Maybe when I have hair again. Easy. How long have you been with your SO, Erica? Can we rob that ball and chain so he gets the message? Amen to that, TA! Yeah. a long ass time. You got more to talk about? No money, no problem. Or as I like to say, mo money, more problems. Dignity. We can. His sense of propriety. Well, that means I have some questions for you, Erica, about the people you like to, about the company you like to keep. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. He is a Come good on. apple. Happy for you. That's good on you. We don't always find good ones. Can have his drum There's set. I can't play drums. See the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. Did you touch my drum set? Look at the place. Oh, it's too bad Kate's not here. She would have loved that. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Check your Discord, okay, my guy. Let's go. Sure. A lot of you are probably wondering where I was. Yeah, Kate. You go into the house. Look at what I'll Mango just said. Wagon. She just asked, "Did you touch my drum set?" Truly, I accidentally locked myself out of the house. We almost Maybe didn't make it without you, Kate. That's true. Before you go in, make sure it's all quiet. She's clearly having that kind of day. Snack a snack. Uh, middle America, where we keep our doors unlocked. Forty-five dollars, huh? Him look drunk. He's having a day. Ooh, platinum band. Yes, please. Spooder dude movie. Oh, is there another one coming? There's. We have the next trailer already. She it. Tent is pitched and ready. I'll have to check it out after I'm done streaming. And this dude's a sleeper. I'd have woken the fuck up. Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah, more multiverse stuff. That makes sense. I know we're supposed to be expecting another multiverse movie. idea. Let's keep it on the DL. Great. Yeah, all about the multiverse, man. Morally! Alright, let's get out of here. Do you 
Get on, dear boy. All right. Come on. Get on and let's head back. All right, let's go. Yes, I think that's a perfectly acceptable question. Yay! Some Marleys and some cheers. I love it. Yep. Why, yes, it is. <laughs> Should we guess? Ooh! That's kind of a fun idea. Oh, I never mind. She should. <laughs> so much for that. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Why don't best you guess the, the right car she used to have? The car she had right before her current one. What were you expecting, Erica? I'm dying to know what you were expecting. That is true. Chevy gang gang. Right now. I have a 2007. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that. Uh, my dear Mufasa. I'm looking forward to your Californian, yes sir. The campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed. Yeah, she's very much a car person. Like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No. I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so, but I ain't so sure about that. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. Souped up Subaru and no in between. <laughs> Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Tar nice joy. people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Backing up. Backing up. Yes. Kate is a producer of television shows. I also learned today that she was an extra on the Mindy Project. Did not know that before today. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Do you like MK fans? Don't we all? Don't we all? I can't even understand. <laughs> what kind of car do you have, Oxforth? Actually, no. Don't tell us. Let's everybody guess what kind of car Oxforth has. I'm going to guess a Volkswagen. Oh, that's very nice of you, Kate. Not a Volkswagen. <laughs> BMW. Oh, you got a BMW, Oxford?
Uh, it's not European. Uh, Toyota? Hey, Mary Beth. Hi, Arthur. Okay. Has a sub a woo. <laughs> Was it closer with the Subaru or with the Toyota? Hold still! Pearson said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't <laughs> Toyota was close. Okay, yeah. Honda, Hyundai, Kia. Kia? Toyota. Closer to Toyota than Honda or Hyundai. Scion. Is Scion Toyota another one of the Japanese brands? Cheer up! All of you, cheer up! Maybe I'm driving him crazy. Nissan! Ooh, is it a Nissan? Hey. Hello again, Arthur. Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, but not much else. A shotgun. Street racers. No yeah, pretty much. Not for now, no. Everyone's favorite uncle. Hello. Oh, yeah, was it Mazda? I forgot about Mazda. Suzuki. Mitsubishi. Oh, gosh. Yeah, my money's on Suzuki. My money's on Suzuki. Oh, it's a Mitsu! Ah! You know, we don't see a whole lot of Mitsubishis out here anymore. Alright, I'm just going to spend a couple minutes just kind of surveying the camp a bit, talk to some of the folk, fine folk around here. It, on her 111th try. <laughs> oh, that was scathing. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? <laughs> I am a brave boy. <laughs> Either brave or crazy. We're not sure yet. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Uh, I don't think so. I could ban him. Kate, don't you dare. Did I miss you explaining your mods before? Uh, I don't think I explained them. Did I explain them? There's not much to explain. Uh, Josh is my... My, uh... Tried and true mod. I subscribe to you and bought coins, whatever that means. Kate, what the hell did you do? How's things? Just lovely. Always good to see you. Hi there, Arthur. So is there any point in my wearing myself here in the 
Well, you went into detail. Oh, no, my own. Oh, like the. Oh, God, I thought you meant the mods. Um, <laughs> the mods for my chat. Bad business when Davy passed. Bad business when anyone passes, but we're going to make it. Dutch will see us right. Yeah, of course he will. Exactly, Mr. Williamson. Surprise, motherfucker. He He's the ideal. The American in this country was set up to create. Surprise, motherfucker. He'll see us right. Excuse me. Let's celebrate with a tune. Oh no. Oh no. Oxford. <laughs> Like, why do you have all these purchases for Twitch? <laughs> I also love how I realized that just at the wrong time. I'd like to celebrate with a tune. Oh, no! Swanky Bay, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the discipleship. We're happy to have you. Please enjoy your stay. Watch this pic from my father. Did not know you could get a massage from us. <laughs> I didn't either. I'm resolved to try it. Ah, oh, poor drunk old man. I am having a good stream. Thank you, Swanky. Good to have you here. Advisor, I'm a gaga goo goo grown-ass. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Looks <laughs> Oh, that is good. That is some rich shit. Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? We did all right out of it. Just no comb. <laughs> this is mighty fine. Yeah, you'll fit in fine. My sister loves sassy Norwegians. That stupid song. What brings you in here? To bear down on your for I know you struck all the way. Things went on and on. Well, that's not true. I do know why. They're lazy, good for nothing rats. Every last one of them. They're whores with ideas miles above their station. I mean, in my day, it just didn't happen. Talk back to a madam? I'd have been horse whipped. And I was. Oh, I was horse whipped. And I'm grateful. Oh, I wish Dutch had let me whip some of them pathetic wretches into shape. They need it. Oh, so help me God. They need it. I mean, it's bad now, but it's only going to get worse. It's ridiculous. It got ridiculous. I mean, there's simply no respect for their beggars. It's kind of ironic that, like, the madam of a whorehouse is mad at the prostitutes for having a little bit of culture and having ideas and dreams. The irony is not lost on me about that. <laughs> it made Uncle have it in for himself so hard that he made self-sabotaging a religious venture. It is so... I mean, we know that he's lazy as shit. 
Oh, here you Seriously. Oh, my butt. Well, I think that's going to be it for me this evening. We've made a good dent in the story. We're really just, at this point, doing some missions, getting our lay of the land still. We don't know if Molly's okay. We sure hope she is. That girl got some issues. She needs... Uh, she's just, oh, paint me like one of your French girls. This is the shortest 12 hours stream. <laughs> I, f I missed the part where I said this was a 12 hour stream, my friend. Um, I'm trying to think when I'll, um, stream this again. I'll probably take tomorrow off. Um, my niece is coming over. I'm really, really excited about that. And then I, I really need to work on, um, prepping some of my cosplay for Comic-Con. You stream every day for the rest of your life. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate that. I really, 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 I, I'm loving doing this Red Dead series because it's just, it's really just fun hanging out with you guys and, and just shooting the shit about the game and, and learning a little bit as we go. Like this is this is the crew I love to roll with. Um, so please be at every single one of these uh, streams. Uh, it'll make me the happiest. Uh, so I'll probably take a break tomorrow. Um, and my intention, yay niece, come on, yes. Um, I will stream on Wednesday. Um. And then Friday I have to dip up for Comic-Con. So Wednesday will probably be my last stream until the following Monday. Uh-oh. Oxforth, one second. Uh-oh, what did you try to do, Oxforth? I'll go yell at, I'll go yell at Street Labs for whatever you did. Oh, you tried to post a link. Hold on. Let me permit you. All right, try it again, Oxford. Oh, God, I'm scared. Whatever you posted cannot be good. Oh, no. I don't know if I want to watch that. I'm going to, but... Yes, I would like to quit to the desktop. Suspicious original ladies super. Okay. It's not bad, it's just proof. Stream, my friend. Uh, this was a 12-hour stream, my friend. Oh, you cut the- You are- You are a conniving bastard is what you are, sir. You. You. You clipped that at just the right time. I have been framed. I have been framed. Out of God. Oh, uh, my friend, it's good to have you. I'm I'm glad all of you are here. So uh, count on me streaming again on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Uh, and then uh, we'll be back. We'll be back Monday to continue uh, after I've gone back to work and I'm the saddest panda that ever was. <laughs> yes, 7 to 7. No, of course not. My butt hurts after like two hours on this thing. Good Lord. Um, all seriousness, thank you guys for being here. I really, really love hanging out with y'all. Um, let's see. Let's see who's around a raid. Brassy Dudes is on. He's a good enough dude playing some Counter-Strike. We'll go hang out with him. Um, thanks everyone for hanging. Really appreciate y'all. Um, time for us to get some new chairs, Oxforth. Uh, I will see you all on Wednesday. As I always say, 
Um, be safe, wear a mask, stay sexy, and say hi to Brassy Dude. <laughs>